What's up? How are you guys today? Most of you know I had to move recently, which required me to buy a lot of kitchen equipment I didn't have. So today we're just gonna go around and show you guys everything because I'm health minded. You know, I don't want any toxic non-stick surfaces. Make sure there are no negative things leaching into the food. And if you guys do want any of this stuff, I will put it on my Amazon shop, amazon.com slash Frank Tufano. I will use this opportunity to say that I'm not a fan of Amazon for obvious reasons and also something you guys might not know is like if you're a small business owner or you're just starting out, selling your products on Amazon is basically a waste of time because it's controlled just like all of these other medias and only the big connected elite owned companies actually get in the algorithm and sell a lot of products but that's enough complaining so let's start looking around that. So we'll start with the knives and cutting boards. That's probably what you guys use the most every day, you know, being from the carnivore diet, always having meat every day. Uh, these are affordable Japanese knives. So the brand is Tojiro. This is a chef's knife. This is a vegetable cleaver that I'm using more now since I'm having like onions and mushrooms and certain things like that. I think this one was a hundred bucks. This one was like 30 or 40, both razor sharp, have zero complaints. The blade is nice and thin. And I do have some more knives. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but uh, these are the two go-to that I'm using every single day. The wooden cutting boards are teak. Uh, there are other materials you could use too. I just have this one on top that gets really beat up, all food on it. And the one on bottom I kind of keep clean. I don't really use that much. Over here I just have a Good Grips vegetable peeler that I use for apples and potatoes. And then I have uh, one of my Victorinox steak knives that I'm using to cut the fruit. But uh, these are the steak knives that I currently have. They're very nice, sharp, serrated. Always go through everything very easily. And we're just kind of going in the order of what's on my counter first, and then we'll start going into the drawers. So the Instant Pot is like my bread and butter. I use this for my stocks every single week. If I want to make barley soups during the winter, this thing gets a lot of use. And here I just have some steel bowls and steel strainer for my noodles. Uh, steel, stainless steel especially, is a pretty good non-toxic surface. For the eating surfaces, just some Corel. Uh, ceramic plates here and bowls. I, I put all of these in the kitchen equipment section too on the Amazon shop. Just plain, basic, like minimal, pretty easy to clean. In regards to the cooking pans, I've been using Green Pan, which is a just kind of non-toxic, non-stick surface, which I've been liking, you know, as long as you don't cook at too crazy high of a heat. As much as I prefer like carbon steel or cast iron, I'm just not really set up in this apartment to keep that seasoned and cleaned and cook at really, really hot, high temperatures with those. Uh, just down here, we have some stuff I haven't really been using, but it's kind of necessary. The stainless steel baking trays with steel wire racks. This is so you can cook on a non-aluminum surface, very important. And I also have some parchment paper if you want to use some non-stick stuff. Main thing here is we are avoiding aluminum, aluminum foil, all that stuff. So in the drawer here are just my eating utensils. I bought a few sets of stainless steel silverware, nice and clean. Some scissors, Fiskars is my favorite brand of scissors. Very, very sharp, cuts really well. Here's more of the Victorinox steak knives that I bought. I've been having like more ground beef and roast beef lately, so I haven't been using the steak knives as much, but these are really sharp. I like them a lot, they work really well. So these next two drawers just kind of have a bunch of stuff thrown in them because I don't really have dividers. Uh, this is a silicone spatula, which is a pretty good non-toxic surface. It doesn't really melt, it doesn't leach anything when it gets too hot. Uh, just some more good grip stuff like a can opener and uh, this as well. I, I like the OXO Good Grips brand. You know, they don't have the highest quality products, but they're usually good, sturdy, easy to use, and not too expensive. Here's just a steel citrus juicer that I got because the plastic one or the other one snapped in half completely. So, this I use sometimes when I'm making like lemon juice in the morning or my Flextro shakes. The knives over here uh, were some that I had custom made for me, but they're really, really heavy and the steel is really thick, so they're not that easy to cut with. I mean, this would be more like a butcher knife to go through bones. And I do just have a, a nice thin bread knife here whenever I get my sourdough stuff. And here just some steel and wooden spoons that I either got online or from local restaurant supply. Uh, if you do want a thermometer, uh, these Javelin Instant Read thermometers are very good and affordable to double check the temperature on whatever you're cooking. More Good Grips poultry shears. And then I just have a, you know, this type of 
cheap knife sharpener if I'm lazy and need to like sharpen up like my pocket knife or something like that. Otherwise I'll use my whetstones. And this bottom drawer is stuff I don't really use as much. So we have some nylon strainers here and we also have some of the uh, stainless steel strainers. Yeah, most of this stuff I kind of bought just to like outfit my kitchen if I was doing recipes in case I needed any kind of specific nuanced things without going too crazy. You know, we got the micro plane, like if you want to do garlic or nutmeg or any sort of herbs or cheese or anything. We also have a uh, nice potato masher. Sometimes I do make mashed potatoes from the peeled white potatoes. And here's just a caviar spoon that I got. Rubber mallet, cleaver, I uh, don't really use this as much. Rubber spatula, I do use from time to time, like if I'm baking or cooking and I need to scoop some stuff out. Same with these, uh, these pastry cutters. Those are good for scraping the top and cleaning things off. I've used these metal skewers a lot, whether it's for barbecuing or uh, more recently making s'mores. Of course, you need a soup ladle. Now, these are some tongs that came with my grill. Just a, a steel scoop that I should probably bring down to work. I don't really use it that much. We got some wine keys and some bottle openers down here from when I was bartending. And then we have some whetstones. So this is a 3,000, 8,000. I think this one is like a 1,000, 5,000. So I kind of go switch between these. And then I do have a coarser whetstone over here if the blade is really, really dull. Uh, you know, these are supposed to be kept in water or oil. So I don't really use them as much. And then I actually have a, a really fine like marble finishing stone here. And then I also have like a piece of leather that I'll sometimes use to strap the knife if I'm really wanting to sharpen something. So under here, I just have some of these glass Pyrex kind of casserole dishes uh, just for storing and holding stuff. And then in this cabinet, I have a bunch of steel pans. I think the brand is Cathalon. It was just a set that I bought on Amazon. So I think the whole set was like 200 or $300. It had a lot of these stainless steel pans, a lot of lids. Now, obviously you need these for like boiling water, making soups, if you want to do any stuff on the stove top. And then up there, I just have some of my Pyrex measuring cups. So very safe steel and glass nonstick surfaces, whatever you're cooking. So I didn't really buy a lot of glassware yet. I just bought one box of kind of highball cups from the restaurant supply. So this is kind of glass, reasonable, cheap and affordable. I usually just drink straight from the, the Mountain Volley bottles. So I don't really use these that much. So over here we have my Philips XXL air fryer that I like using for French fries, uh, cauliflower, stuff like that occasionally. This is big. Uh, the surfaces are reasonably non-toxic. And we have my Yum Asia rice cooker. Yeah, you could make rice in the Instant Pot, but it doesn't usually turn out that great. And this has like a non-toxic uh, coating in here. So this is pretty good. I like this. Uh, it's as expensive as the other really popular one, but the difference is the, the coating on the inside of the container. And guys, please excuse the mess and it's all really disorganized. I'm still not sure when I'm moving and relocating my business. So I didn't really unpack everything here. And my cleaning ladies also have to come this week. All right, so over here in this like kind of closet, we have just some more equipment. Uh, down here is that pretty affordable uh, Cuisinart ice cream maker that you just kind of put the bowl in the freezer. I think it's like 50 or 60 bucks. Here I have some uh, proofing baskets for sourdough bread that I, I haven't been making yet. I just don't really have enough space in this kitchen. This is like a bamboo steaming thing for dumplings that I made once. That's just my supplements, no kitchen equipment there. And in here we have an immersion blender that I used to make mayonnaise. Uh, more of the stainless steel bowls, which come in a set, uh, one extra of the steel strainer as well. So this is nice because you get like all different size bowls and they have lids. And you know, if you wanna put this in the fridge with the lid on it so it doesn't spill or get everywhere, it's great. And then down here is just a lot of these uh, kitchen towels that I like. I think the brand's Utopia. This whole box actually was full of kitchen towels. So I got a ton of them. So I just throw them in the laundry and I have a lot I can go through without having to wash them that often. So up here we just have a scale that I don't really use. Um, sometimes I'll only need that for like sourdough or really specific baking. Here's like a steel cylinder. That's for making mayonnaise with the immersion blender or blending anything. Uh, this is a Cuisinart food processor. I got this on eBay years and years ago. Pretty good brand. And then there's the, the Ninja blender, which is just kind of like really affordable and pretty good. 
I'm like looking around. I felt like I had more stuff to show you guys, but I guess not really. I mean, it, it's still a lot of stuff and there's a lot of things I want to get in the future too, like maybe uh, some sort of panini press for my sandwiches, a few things that just make life a lot more convenient. Uh, you know, what I have here, I'm considering kind of moderate, you know, it's not minimal, but it's also not excessive. However, you know, when you buy these really niche and nuanced things, it does make life a lot easier when you go to cook that dish. Yeah, you could just have like a knife, a cutting board, a few pans, an oven and some pans and just do everything in those. But, you know, it's not as easy when you have things like the Instant Pot, the rice cooker, all these different stuff. So Amazon.com slash shop slash Frank Tefano for all of the stuff, guys. As I said earlier, if anything's not on there, just let me know. I'll find it. I'll put it up there for you. But as always, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Let me know, guys, if you want like another video on some other stuff that I've bought or just things that I have around the house. I think that'd be a little bit interesting, but we'll see you guys soon. Thank you.